All right, um, I'm going to be coding an email alert system. The point of this is to alert me if a specific word is submitted to um, my form. Well, to the spreadsheet of that form. So I just entered an example. There's some data that I already have. And now I'm going to dive into the script. I'm titling the project here, email alert script. I'm known for my creativity. Uh, here I'm just doing a comment with two slashes, my name, the year, so on and so forth. Now I'm going to start my declarations. Uh, just to make life easier for us and uh, in most of the samples that Google recommends when you're first starting out, uh, they also do this SS for spreadsheet app, get active spreadsheet. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and define sheet as well as creatively uh, the first sheet in the spreadsheet. Uh, that's the one we're going to be using. That's the one that form defaults to. Uh, again, this is just uh, to make life easier for us. Ah, uh, I do this in most of uh, in most of the programs that. I put together and it's get the last row, get the last column uh, for counting purposes, for finding ranges, um, just basic operations. It is often needed. Oh, am I not going to do last column yet? Ah, apparently we'll be doing last column later. Um, so for the first function, I'm going to check the submission. So each time the form is submitted, I want to go ahead and check what was submitted. So here is, we're starting with a for loop. Uh, my variable is going to be C for count. C equals one. C is less than the last row. So this is going to be my count for the rows. C plus um, plus, enumerating it by one each time. And I'm going to go ahead and close that out, most likely with a bracket. Oh, no, I'm diving right in here. So what we're going to be doing, again, is we're going to be checking if a particular word was entered. Therefore, I'm going to start with my if statement. Um, and now I'm going back to look at the days, uh, demonstrating that that's what we're going to be looking for. So I need to pick a day. I think I decide on Friday, because who wants anything going on on Friday? Um, so I want an alert in case someone is requesting for time on Friday. Here we are, so it I define, well, string Friday. If Friday matches sheet get range. Ah, now I need to check what my range would be. So it looks like it's column three for the days. And then the rows, we will just have to count through with our loop. I'm realizing that I will also need to do a column. I do this, um, so in my program, I'm actually going to go through each column in the row. And I do this because when you edit a form or when you make changes, I don't want to have to go back into my program each time and double check that I am checking the right uh, column. It's a fairly simple program. Might as well just check each column in the row. Therefore, I can kind of set it up and forget it. And now I'm adding a, a second loop, uh, like I stated before. So I'm going to need to go through the rows and the columns um, to make sure or to check for the word's appearance.
This original version I'm doing here will check in the entire form for the words appearance. So it is not going to only check the last row. I am checking all rows to see if the word even appears. And we'll get an email alert if it does. Later on, I'm going to eliminate the counting of rows uh, because I don't need it. I just want to look at the last submission. Um, and so I'll eliminate that count and only check the last column and keep our or only check our last row and keep our column count. Here we go. Um, I am sheet get range CI, right? So that is getting the range uh, or getting each cell as we count through them. And then I'm getting the value. If the value does match our string Friday, I want this function to return true. I'm going to go ahead and save my work and I'm going to test it. Ah, uh, authorize required. I'm not sure when uh, Google got more annoying about this, but this app isn't verified. It's going to show up each time you need to do this. You have to go to the advance, go to email alert, unsafe, and type continue. Whatever. Allow. And it ran, we think. Um, at this point, I need to put in a log, right? So it looks like there were no bugs, but I want to make sure it's actually performing the function that I believe it is. So here we go. Uh, to log in Google Apps Scripts, it is logger.log sheet. And I'm getting that range again, just like below. Um, and getting the values. So I'm just outputting the values as I get them. Unlike the if statement, I'm not comparing those to Friday. I am just trying to output them. And yes, it looks like all of my data is being logged. So our loop, uh, both of our loops are successfully uh, going through the data at this point. And now I'm just double checking. Oh, and I noticed that it stops at Alex, so it doesn't go to the last two columns. And I think I'm going to look into that, or the last two rows. Oh, and I realize it's because I'm returning. So I returned true on Friday, therefore it only stopped at Alex. When I comment that out, it does go through uh, all of our data. And that is what we are hoping it would do. All right. I think this is where I'll dive into. As is good practice, I'm just going to put a comment. Um, because as this program gets more complicated, um, which it will as I add on to it, uh, this first part of it, or by the end of this video, will still be fairly simplistic. But, uh, you know, good practice, just so I remember what my functions do if I dive back into this in a month or a week. Um, yeah. All right, now I am going to go on to my next function. Pretty creatively named, send an alert email. Uh, it's send an alert email because I'm sending an email to alert myself the word was written. <laughs> Ah, uh, some of the app scripts I I don't use mail app as often, so here I'm just googling um, to check for it. As you can see, uh, I don't know how people coded, but before the Googles, can't imagine having to flip through a book each time. Since I clarified that, I think I know what I'm doing now, or I'm going to pretend to. We'll find out. Um, yep, mail app, send email, yes. So instead of just putting the message there, I'm going to throw down brackets. And it's easy for me if I put a two with a, a colon and then 
the email address. Um, and I'm sending this to my own email address uh, to alert me. After two, I believe I put subject. Um, you don't have to do this. You can uh, separate it all by commas, but it's just easier for me when I go back to it to be able to see directly, ah, this is the subject of the email, this is the message, or uh, so on and so forth. Yeah. And again, you're seeing my creativity here. Uh, alert, Friday request, and then someone has requested, I'm assuming I'll write Friday? Yep. And I'm thinking about something critical, I'm sure, or debating. I have no idea. Ah, finally, we're going to start on our main uh, function. That will, will be the main function. It's going to call my other functions. Yeah, and uh, for this, the, the easiest way I figured for this to work would be call the check submission function um, inside of an if statement, because if it is true, it will, well, it returns true, uh, as you can tell above as we code it. And then I'm going to go ahead and call the function within that if sent statement to send my alert email. I'm going to save and debug. And again, I need to review our permission. Why not? Me advanced type continue and victory. Oh no, just kidding, I have to allow. And it runs, meaning there's no bugs. I wish that was true. We're going to see in a moment there are bugs. So I check for. The email. And now I start trying to figure out why it wasn't received. Uh, first thing I noticed is I forgot to uncomment out true. Uh, and so I eliminate that. I now need to make sure that I actually run the main function and not the check submission function. Some basics, but you know, finish the program. I was excited to try it out. And let's see if it ran that time. Still lacking an alert email. So back to the code. Ah, oh, this is where I noticed that uh, when calling my send alert email, I my function in main, I need to put the brackets, uh, the parentheses behind it. And that seems successful. Let's see. Woohoo! And there we go. So now I am obviously I'm successfully sending myself an email. Here I'm being dumb. I'm changing the subject. I guess I'm just trying to test it out. Wasn't the best choice. At this point, we need a project trigger, right? So I, I need it to tr be triggered each time a form is submitted. So hunting around for that. There we are, current project triggers. I need to run main on each submission. I'm going to do that from a spreadsheet on open. It, it's great that um, Google makes it this easy for us. Save and it's done. On each form submission now, uh, my trigger will trigger the main function. Um, very easy to do, easier than writing the actual program. And now I'm changing back my fun subject change of Wednesday to Friday. Yeah. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and submit a form. See if it works and it does i had forgotten to hit save 
on my... I forgot to hit save when I changed it to Friday, which I'll be realizing momentarily. Save. There we go. That will help. Now here's the problem. As I'm realizing now, I am uh, enumerating through each data point, right? So I'm going through with my loop columns and rows. Therefore, if Friday appears anywhere in uh, any of the submissions, I would be alerted. This is not what I want to do. I want to know if a, a new submission happens to have Friday in it. Okay, figuring this out, and I'm going to go ahead now and eliminate that the loop that I was using to loop through the rows because I don't need to loop through, loop through a row. Um, I'm just going to go directly to the last row, which is where uh, each new submission would appear. Okay, now within that, within my log, I'm going to go ahead and change it to last row, which I should have done below. I'll get there. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to clean up my data a little bit. Some of that's old data. So I want to make sure a new submission does appear on the row below or the last row. And I'm going to go ahead and go through and uh, enter another response at this point. Uh, good old fake name. I'm going to pick Saturday, um, and the idea here is obviously that it, it shouldn't send an alert, but I, I do want to check everything out to make sure. Reload, go ahead and checking for that uh, alert email, which should not appear. And since we fixed it, it would only go through the last submission now. So we, even with Friday somewhere else in the text, it would only send it if uh, the last entry was Friday. And here we go. This one should successfully alert us being Friday. And there's my submission and go ahead and yes, refresh the mail. I have these go to a folder, uh, well, a label of app scripts. And ah, the email doesn't arrive. Um, and that is because as it shows here, C is no longer defined. I needed to change C now to last row since I eliminated that loop. I changed it in the log uh, above, but I did not change it there. So now at this point, I shouldn't have any bugs. And I'm going to check to see if that email was sent. And it was. Excellent. So it appears everything's running smoothly at this point. I am going to do one more submission to make sure that it is only checking that last row when it, uh, when it is submitted. Uh, unlike before, where it was going through all of our data and would alert us if Friday appeared anywhere within the spreadsheet. It should now only check the most recent submission. No email, because it's only checking the last row. And that's it. So we know it's functioning now. I'm going to continue to work on this. So I'll probably put up another video as I add, uh, as I add more to it. Um, I'm just doing this for fun. Uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions or if I messed up or anything like that.